Hello friends, welcome back to Guiding Tech and in today's video I'm going to talk about the all new UI from Samsung that is called the One UI and well it comes with plenty of cool new features and a whole new design and in this video I'm going to talk about the top six tips and tricks that you must look into if you are going to use this UI the first time and while the UI is already available in beta for Note 9 and S9 Plus devices, it's gonna make its debut for S10 and then for almost all the Samsung devices starting this year. So well, let's find out what's new and interesting about this all new UI. My name is Ashish, you are watching Guiding Tech, let's get started. The very first trick is to enable the navigation gestures. And navigation gestures are the next big thing in the world of phones ever since Apple came up with its version. Others have followed the suit and even Google is now introducing navigation gestures for Android Pie devices. Though late to the party, Samsung has eventually launched its own custom version. Going by the name of full screen gestures, it lets you go back a step if you swipe up from the right corner and open the recent menu when you swipe up from the left corner. A swipe up from the middle portion will drop you on the home page. Also, Android Pie brings the overview section, meaning that you can get to the search and select text from it. What's cool is that you can also reverse the order of these gestures. The settings are available under settings, navigation bar, and you can also enable or disable it from the notification tray. Moving on, the next trick is to search for contacts from messages. Except for the helpful gestures, the old Samsung message app was pretty monotonous. Thanks to the all new One UI, we have a chic new app which buries the old interface. There are two tabs now, one for messages and one for contacts. So if you want to type a new message, tap on the contact tab, search for one and then compose the message. The favorites will appear at the top of the list though. Moving on, the third trick is to enable the darkness of the night mode. And even I think so that with almost all the devices with AMOLED display, it was high time that a fitting night mode made its debut on Samsung phones. Until now, users had to resort to black themes to save their precious battery juice, especially in phones with larger displays such as Galaxy S9 Plus or the Note 9. The night mode can be enabled from quick settings or through the settings and once activated, it paints the whole skin black, including native apps such as messages and calendar. And thanks to the Super AMOLED display, the night mode on Samsung flagships looks amazing. What I love about it is that the settings icons are colored so that they stand out in the sea of black ocean. Moving on, the next trick is about app sleeping and battery optimization and at times, there are chances that you would want your apps not to run in the background and certainly not to bother you with notifications. Well, if there are apps like these, then it seems that you are in luck. The always sleeping apps feature lets you select a group of apps which you want to keep but you can do without the constant notifications. Most importantly, they don't run unnecessarily in the background and thus also saves your battery juice. And all you have to do is search for always sleeping apps in settings page, then tap on add and then select all the apps that you would want to appear in this list. And well, if you ask me, that's a smart way to conserve your phone resources and prevent them from wasting data. Moving on, let's try the universal search for the next trick. And if you ask me, it is one of the coolest new feature in the search functionality for Samsung devices. While previously we would have to open the app drawer and search for apps, you can do that now through quick settings menu. The menu has new search icon which you can enable by just touching it. Neat, I'd call it. From the app names and photos to nifty settings option, whatever matches the search query is displayed in a list. And I'd say it's something like a universal search feature like the spotlight we have on the iOS devices. Moving on, the next trick is to tweak lock screen notifications. And now with One UI, you can manage the lock screen notifications better than ever. While previously you could choose only between show content and height content, now you can also choose to display only the app icons along with the options to display just a tiny brief of whatever the notification is about. The settings is under notification settings. All you need to do is tap on the option under control notifications. Choose your option and that's it. Moreover, if you prefer to show content on the lock screen, you can tweak the transparency of the notification box 
through the transparency option. So those were some of the cool tips and tricks that you can start with if you are exploring the new user interface from Samsung. And well, we have shot this video while the UI is still in beta phase. So new tricks might come in, the settings might change in the final release, but then you'll have a general idea that what you can expect from Samsung. So well, if you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. Do let us know what you think about this all new user interface from Samsung. If it's gonna be a trend setter for the new devices, it's gonna like take away that monotonous feeling that we have right now with the touch whiz that we also call as the Samsung experience. I'm gonna love to hear what you think about it. Well, that's all in this video and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.